Hi guys, Mark Crossword here with Coach Lockie. Hello. Welcome Coach, you're in the studio and we've got a few swings coming through my golf app which we're just going to help a few people with. Um, interesting ideas I think with aim and club path on this one which we'll talk about. Let's get stuck in. Right Matt, quite a neat swing don't you think? Yeah, it's really nice. Lots of good movements yeah. in there, he looks fit, he can move. It's an interesting one because I think watching on video, um, if I just run this through, people are going to think, well he's aiming up the right. Yep. So I presume, it looks like there's death on the left and room on the right. Mm -hmm. So you've got to always take into account when people are sending swings as well. Situations. There's a situation involved also, so we can yeah. only do like a limited job as such. Um, now, when he takes the club back, we do see that club twisting down to the ground maybe a little bit more. His right hand is uh, definitely under the club. It's yeah. a right hand, what people would call strong, strong grip. grip yeah. Now, as soon as he puts that twist into that club, there's a good chance that club might be closed to a path. It yeah. can be open to a path as well, subject to his path. Um, but lots of popular golfers will interpret that as closing a face to a path. So where would you expect to see his path to go from here? Uh, you swing from the inside, try and start the ball at the right to draw it back. Yeah, I think with someone with that kind of um, flowing action, so that kind of idea of coordination, I think yeah. he, he is going to work it out that way. Mm -hmm. um, so people would also say, is that club, they would say that club's too far inside. Inside, yeah. Under the plane. Yeah. <laughs> what, would you, what do you think? I think it's nice. It's really good. I mean, it's I a long speed line if you look yeah, at the yeah. perspective because the camera is shooting, say, down. Yeah. And he's aiming across the camera. Yeah. So this camera person, if really, if they wanted to see where the path of that club was moving at this stage in relationship day to where the path of his start line of the ball's going to go, he would need to move more, more to this the left, way yeah. to his left, the camera would. Yeah. So as we take the club to the back, Again, we see the face twisting up to the sky a little bit. Yeah. Uh, he could swing left from here and mm -hmm. still have the face open to his path, DJ Styley. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't got that uh, path, but he has that twist in Yeah. Uh, look how his wrist isn't as twist as people might think as well, because he puts it's the more twist cut in. Than anything, yeah, it it's because he's me, got yeah. that stronger grip. Yeah. If he was to flatten that wrist, that would he would go. get severe DJing. Yeah, yeah. Um, which lots of people Take don't work it out. A lot like. of loft off yeah. as well, wouldn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as he starts down, it's a nice movement. He starts into the ball, um, looks like he's pushing his pressure onto his front foot. He's turning his body athletically. And yeah, ball starts up the right, and he looks like he's swinging. Well, if you put the launch monitor in line with the start line of the ball, yeah. I would say his club path is zero. Pretty if, uh, neutral, isn't if it? If you yeah. put the launch monitor in line with his target at the end after the curvature, it would say he's swinging from, from the inside. inside. Yeah. So the only thing I would, if you were teaching someone like this, I would want to have a conversation with them about, do they want to fade it? Mm -hmm. Like, do they want that in their armory? You just want to know what they their shop shape and what they're more comfortable with, don't you? And I would say, like, have you tried a fade before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't hit that shot. Well, maybe if we work on that shot, mm -hmm. it gives you a few more options on other courses and you might yep. be able to get lower because there might be some chances. Like, this whole wind off the right, he might want to cut it into the wind, for instance. Yeah, like um, if he's a drawer as well and wind's off the right and trouble's left, then he's literally aiming. At that. <laughs> Try and get it near target. But I think so. Yeah, rather I think than it's a chat more than anything to see what he wants from his game, um, and then go from there. Really. Yeah, rather than improving that, yeah. keep that. Yeah. That looks like it's that's quite functional. Good. Yeah, to me. yeah, hundred percent. But maybe add another idea in which you jump between. If that's yeah. what skilled golfers are doing, when we've played with all the tour pros that we've played with, they're shaping both ways when yeah. they need to, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah. So what would you say to him if he wanted to shape the ball a little bit differently? Well, I wouldn't change his grip. No. I'd go for the kind of DJ cut idea that he was using US Open style. I'd aim him straighter, yeah. even up the left. Drag the handle a bit. Get that handle coming in left Forward, as he yeah. comes through. Mm -hmm. um, and really feel like he's opening his shoulders and his hips up to feel like the handle's ahead of yeah. the club. Like you say, drag that handle a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Also, what I would then do is I would measure. I would say, right, hit X amount of drives with a normal jaw shape. Yeah. Um, and then let's hit X amount of drives with this new idea. And let's see which one you a, feel more comfortable hitting fairway with or not, which one goes further or shorter. Yeah. Um, and then actually look at the data to see which one's hitting more fairway. Because sometimes people go, I don't feel like I could, that's going as far. Well, it is. Exactly. You can, <laughs> <laughs> if you're measuring, you can kind of prove that. Exactly, and then yeah. they say, oh, I feel like I could lose that off to the right. Well, you're right. You do lose one that goes a long way right. Yeah. But the other nine are very tight. Where your draw, you are... Um, 
kind of not tight uh, dispersion, but you are a rule, as you haven't got the really wide one, mm. but you are a little bit more spread. So, it, it, again, it'll be working that idea into a gaming environment. Yeah. Quite a good swing. Really good. Um, enjoy really hitting good. the draw. I would say if he's not draw, if he's hitting shots and they're not drawing, he's probably healing strike. You know, healing strike, yeah. And not realise he's getting there. Um, and doesn't have to change any of those good flowing motions in there. Thank you, coach. No problem. Ambassador. Thank you. Oh, you had to drop it in. Didn't you? Said it, didn't we? <laughs> Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.